needs the weight of the mattress, but it's so easy. This is my horizontal Murphy bed hinge. And this is roughly where I'd like to see the bed when it's in the upright position. I'd like to mount the hinge about here so that the bed stops at this height when it folds down to horizontal. After a long day of travel, I don't want to spend a bunch of time assembling a bed. The end goal is to have a bed that can be put away, made up or unmade, whatever you like, and at the end of the day, just fold it down and put into place. Um, without the hinge, it's a little bit rough to do it, but this is the idea. Goes up into a cabinet, comes down flat, ready to go. So this is the first test of mounting the hinge onto the 80-20 frame. So this piece is now mounted with two screws. The only modification I had to make was to drill these holes slightly larger. Um, this goes now together like this. And this is what the, this is the plane that the bed frame mounts in. So I've determined I need to move the whole hinge back slightly and I can move it into place to see if I can try. Just gonna make a couple of adjustments here and move it into place and see if we can mount it up and see what we've learned by this test. As I'm starting to adjust this, everything is still adjustable, but one of the things I can't negotiate with is this pivot point here. Uh, the actual pivot of the hinge sticks out almost half an inch, and so I can't have the 80-20 flat to this. If I were to radius out an area on the 80-20 uh, so that that would inset, I think that would severely weaken the section of 80-20. To account for the space here that this, that this needs, I'm going to mock into a place a piece of the bed frame that we're going to put all the way around this when we're done. But it gives me the ability to work right here and establish the mounting points that we need. I need to figure out the orientation up, down, sideways, backwards, forwards of this before I make a finished bed box and then put holes in the wrong place. So this will allow me to understand where the mounting points are before I go to the finished bed box. All right, this is the first test. We have it mocked into place so that the hinge is attached on that side. Won't take any weight, but it's just to test it. And it looks like we're bumping on the back side. So I'll need to slide that hinge forward on the 80-20 rail. Fortunately, that's not terribly hard. All right, now, if you remember, these hinges are in two halves. So there's one half on the bed frame, one half on the cabinet side. I'm going to pull this pin out here and that will allow me to separate the hinge and it gives me access to the two screws so I can slide the hinge box forward. All right, so I slid that hinge box forward just about two inches. I took a guess. We'll see how it does this time. How hard is that to pivot even with just one hinge on? It's awkward. There it is. It did rub on that back, so I do need to move it forward just a hair more. All right, I think I'm happy with how this is working on that side. I'm gonna put it back up so that I can install the hinge on this side and hopefully get them both working together. Wanna support the Dreamboat project? Please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. To my mind, because you may not be able to get by it easily here, I want it to be able to go up and down easily. So as hassle free as possible to snap it into place. Not You don't have to make it. It just needs to be pushed up and out of the way. The dream would be to have access to both the bathroom and the driver's seat. But if that can't happen, and we have to make compromises and concessions to make sure that there's a big enough sleep space, then I think having it be effortless to put away is going to be key here. I'm really happy with this. It was a ton of work to figure out, um, but yeah, check it out.
it's um, almost effortless to put up. Of course, there's no mattress on it. But the idea that it's, the lift is assisted here is, is definitely working out for us. Um, well, guys, we've got proof of concept here. Um, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link in the description box below for these hinges. Um, they're definitely working out. I only had to drill the hole slightly bigger to go out to the cabinet frames. Very simple modification. Um, very easy to do. How does it feel? It's effortless going back up, effortless coming down. Um, I expect with a mattress it'll be heavier, it'll be a little slower, but it's great. It's everything I wanted. Very excited. We've got proof of concept that these Murphy bed hinges are going to work. Uh, we've got proof of concept that our IKEA drawers and drawer glides are going to work. We've got proof of concept that our hinges can be mounted. Um, I've got separate videos on each of these to make it easier to understand the one installation. Uh, go check those out if you like. Um, now we've just got to take the time to get it all working together. All right, we've got all the major design elements now tested and working, and that's great, but this build is actually gonna get a little bit worse before it gets better. We've gotta take apart a bunch of these areas to change the fasteners a little bit, to secure things to the wall, to the floor, um, to make sure things are square. There's a lot right now that's not quite square. Um, that's gonna to have to get done before we're ready to call it fully built and done. We've got some obvious things to do when we get this out of the way. We're gonna patch the wall. We've got some painting to do, rivets. We've got a couple places that are leaking on the exterior body to the inside. We definitely wanna get that stuff fixed before we really get the cabinets finalized. Go ahead and test it. What are your thoughts? It's not hard. The mechanism feels stiff but the actuation is really smooth and you know we need to fine tune it but man it wants to be vertical yeah man <laughs> yeah. needs the weight of the mattress but it's so easy it is so easy it's perfect look at that Now we get to take it all apart, store it, and put the wall back in. <laughs> awesome. It's so great.